According to internal documents, your department is now tracking a lot more people, including Haitians, who were on their way up from South America, Central America, to cross the border into this country. I want to put up the numbers. 20,000 Haitians in Colombia, 3,000 in Peru, and 1,500 in Panama. In May, the Biden administration extended temporary protected status for the 150,000 Haitians already living in the new U.S. And now, as you've said, you've released another more than 12,000 into the country. Our next guest, Texas Governor Abbott, traveled to Del Rio to the site of that bridge and the 15,000 people huddled under the bridge this week. And here's what he had to say. Take a look. When you have an administration that has abandoned any pretense of securing the border and securing our sovereignty, you see the onrush of people like what we saw walking across this dam that is right behind me. Hasn't this administration created a magnet? Haven't you given the Haitians and a million more immigrants who you had an encounter with at, oh, since Joe Biden came into office, haven't you given them a reason to believe there's a reasonable chance if they come into this country, they'll end up being released into the country and have months or perhaps years to stay here? Uh, Chris, th uh, this is nothing uh, new. Uh, we've seen this type of uh, irregular migration many, many times uh, throughout the years. I don't know if uh, Governor Abbott said the same thing in 2019 uh, when there were more than a million people encountered at the southern border. Uh, got, this, it has gotten worse. Just the, this is, the, the statistics of, of your own department show that the flood of people coming illegally across the border has gotten worse under the Biden administration. So I wouldn't call it a, a, a flood, Chris, if I, if I may. But we have, we, we have seen large numbers of individuals uh, encountered our, at our border making a claim for asylum, for humanitarian relief, which is a, a statute, which is a law. Uh, uh, of the United States, that individuals can make a claim of fear of persecution by reason of their membership in a particular social group. That's what the law provides. This, uh, we have certainly seen a large number here in uh, this year.